Well, good evening, everybody. Uh, today is a special day. Today is the 19th of January, a day that we have never seen before and a day that we'll never see, see again. And one of the reasons why this is a great time for you to be in this space at this particular time is because we have one of the most amazing women that I know um, in this business and in life. I've known her for as long as I've been with Color Me Beautiful, which was back in 1999 that I met her. And uh, But I want to just introduce you to you because we have a powerhouse in our midst tonight. And um, I am excited that she is going to share her uh, voice and her talent and her skills and her expertise with us tonight. Uh, for those of us that are thinking about getting in color, for those of us that are already in color, uh, you in for a treat tonight just to hear her story and her journey, how she got here and uh, what she's been doing in the midst of COVID and all that kind of good stuff. But let me just tell you a little bit about Joanne. Uh, she has over 20, over 20 years of experience. As a matter of fact, we talked about today that is really like 24, 25, I think, yes. maybe 26. Okay. Um, in image consulting and fashion merchandising fields. She is a graduate of Penn State University. Any Penn State house? Woohoo! Nitty Lions. I'm excited about it. I, I always get excited when I hear about graduates of any kind. Okay. And uh, she has a degree in business. And since 1996, she's been associated with Color Me Beautiful mm -hmm. as an independent consultant. And Joanne was selected to become a national certified color analysis trainee for Color Me Beautiful many, many years ago. So her talent and her skill set was recognized long before she began to author this book. And Joanne's experience includes extensive living and traveling throughout Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. So we've got international in the house. Yeah. And she has promoted the Color Me Beautiful concept to um, expatriate communities and in the United States and abroad. Joanne educates on color analysis to individuals, to groups, to organizations. She is a sought after speaker, presenter, image consultant. Her voice means something in image and color. So we're excited to be able to have her tonight. And so Joanne, her goal is to promote higher levels of self-esteem and confidence. And that's exactly what she does. Every time I am in her presence, I'm encouraged because she comes in with a smile. She walks in and I know that everywhere she goes, people have to wonder, who is that woman? Who is she? <laughs> yeah. There is an ambiance about her that just exudes um, just excitement, fun, professionalism, all of it. So she's one package that's all wrapped up in one. So when not pursuing her Color Me Beautiful career, Joanne enjoys competitive tennis. She teaches water aerobics which is great, okay? Now she's never shared that with me before in terms of getting me in the water so I can take some aerobics, but I need to, okay? <laughs> um, and Bible study. And she is the proud mother of Scott and Julia. And she also has this beautiful grandson that we have been sharing notes about re here recently. And so Joanne resides between Northern Virginia here in Fairfax, not far from uh, our corporate headquarters and also in Florida. And right now, tonight, she is coming to us from the grand state of Florida. So without further ado, I don't have to say any more because when she opens her mouth, you're gonna be excited about what she has to share with you tonight. So Joanne, thank you for joining us. You look fabulous. Well, thank you, Cheryl. And I haven't seen you in a long time either. So know, you look fabulous too. But ladies, let me just say, Shailen said more than I'm ever gonna say. She really, she can, she's the motivational speaker, really. I am just the follower, that's all it is. But when we get together, Shailen and I do always manage to make each other feel better when we yeah. leave each other. Yeah. So it's, it's, a, it's a gift. Um, yeah. So Shailen and I were talking this afternoon and I said, so like, what do you want me to talk about? Like, I, I could talk about anything. Um, what I what she uh, said she would like to do because there's some new people, Jacqueline, mm -hmm. and then there's mm -hmm. some people like myself who've been here a long time. I want everybody to know that Julie Cress over here on this thing uh, on the the side, I she has been to this studio and she has uh, gotten certified by me. So I asked her to join me tonight, and she's never done Zoom. So okay. the thing is, what happened is, literally, I'll tell you my story. We were living in Japan. The reason we were lived all over the world is because my husband worked for mobile, ExxonMobil now. 
and I went from place to place with him. And we were in, there was only three places I could drive through in Japan because they drive on the other side of the road. And I'm not really good at that. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm driving to, to one of the three places and there was a lady doing a presentation and I'm sitting in an audience of about 50 people and she's British. Now, we all love the Royals, but let's be honest, nobody's a knockout. Nobody's a knockout, right? So this lady comes, I'm watching her from the back and she crosses over to me and her chin is jutting out, her nose is long. You know, she's not a knockout, but she gets to the front. She's standing at the podium and I'm looking at her and I'm thinking, you know, she really has it together. Mm. And that was it. I figured if that woman that looks like that can make herself look that good, there was something to this, right? Mm. Like something I might need. So afterwards, everybody left and I, I went up to her and this is exactly how it happened because it's burnt in my brain. I said to her, I have to do this. How can I do this? And now uh, remember we were in Yokohama, Japan and she was British. And she said, darling, she said, the worldwide headquarters is in Chantilly. And I'm thinking of course, England, right? And mm -hmm. I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm going to have to go to England to get trained. My husband's going to have a fit right like and this is not going to be good and then she says Virginia and like I live in the next city next to Chantilly like really? this was really meant to be so it was like a 10 minute drive so that summer I went to Color Me Beautiful's headquarters and I was trained and then I took it back to Japan and um had not Japanese because there were windows but not Japanese mm -hmm. but I had all the expats in you know, have a luncheon, expats, talk about it, get them interested. And then from there, we moved on to the Middle East. The Middle East was a little more, um, I think probably maybe a little easier because we were all in these compounds and we had drivers who could drive us from one to the other and they all had extra time on their hands. So the uh, Danish and the, the Germans and the Brits were all down in the Middle East. And I had a great business there. And I also was very lucky. The ambassador that year in the country we lived in, Doha, Qatar, was a woman. It was the first time ever. It was under Clinton. And they had Arkansas. And they had a and they had a woman ambassador. And she had overheard me give a speech in one of the hotels. She was walking through the hall and she heard me. And I get this phone call when I get home. And it says, uh, the ambassador hold for the ambassador. And I'm like, what? what? <laughs> and she got on the phone and uh, the secretary got on the phone and said that Madame had ambassador had heard me. She stood in the back and she wanted me to come over and do all colors. So it's been really a fun, fun, fun thing for me. So I got mm. to go to the ambassador's residence and I was president of the Americans and Women's Club. So then I mean, there were 700 people. So I mean, I, I was involved with a lot of people. We had a lot of fun but it was always about color. The thing I wanna say is you have to use your colors to your advantage. And I think that's where I'm good because tonight I'm wearing, if, I don't know if you can see it, a silver top mm -hmm. and I'm wearing pearls that are silver mm -hmm. and I'm wearing earrings that are white. Uh, they're um, pearls, but they're the white pearls. Everybody can mm -hmm. wear pearls, but I wear them. I have to wear white ones. I don't wear the ivory ones. So if you show the picture, and enough people will stop you and say, what, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? And how do you look like that? Mm -hmm. I think I get a lot of customers that way. So, mm -hmm. and then from there, from the Middle East, we moved back to Virginia, Fairfax, and I had to start all over again, you know, join a tennis team. I analyzed all them. So the business just keeps growing and growing. Mm -hmm. And then we 16 years ago bought a second home down here in Florida. And that was a big opportunity to go into these private clubhouses and talk to these people and do presentations. And I really have uh, fine tuned that. I have to mm -hmm. say that's now my bread and butter. And mm -hmm. what I do is if anybody wants me to go down that, is that the direction you want me to take my presentations, Sharon? Yes, yes. Okay, so when I do these presentations, this, this, is, this has taken me a few times to figure out, but I think I kind of really do it well. So. I have the room divided into two, a la, you know, an aisle down the middle. And when people come in to sign the card, I 
look at them and say, hello, I'd like you to look at all these scarves. So I went out to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and bought all these different color scarves and were well, cool. And I put them on the backs of the chairs. So they come in and they go, oh, I love that pink scarf. I would wear that. So I say to them, okay, go sit in that chair. So then they go sit in that chair. And then that's how the room gets separated. Mm -hmm. And then when I start my presentation, in my mind, I already know who thinks they're warm and who thinks they're cool. Mm -hmm. And ladies, there could be a thousand different ways your brain works because everybody works differently. But this works really well for me, a cool and a warm. So mm -hmm. basically, I'm looking at these people on one side of the room and I'm thinking, you know, they're all going to look good in a, in a soft plum lipstick or they're going to look good in a bright red lipstick. And then I look over here and I'll think, you know, these, good, these guys are going to good look in cinnamon or these guys are going to look good in a, uh, I just lost it, terracotta. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, something like color. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. a deeper uh, warm color. This is going to be mm -hmm. a cool color. So then I start telling them that, okay, these people in this room, uh, in this side of the room would, um, okay, you see this, this is, can you see it on this? This is a- Okay, that's like a cheetah a print. Leopard. leopard print. Okay. Uh -huh. So somebody's brain works differently. Now, obviously I can't wear leopard, okay? Mm -hmm. So one side of the room can wear leopard and one side of the room can wear zebra. And mm -hmm. I know that sounds crazy, but if you put it down to that, this is what people are going to do. Oh, I love leopard. You're right. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. why is it like keep going? And anyway, it keeps, people start thinking like, oh, I've got, so you get them thinking right from the beginning, what are you, what are you? And then I take this brown clip, this tortoiseshell clip, mm -hmm. and I'll put it in my hair and I'll say, so do you like this in my hair? And they'll go, oh no, it doesn't, oh, no, it doesn't no. go with my whole thing. So mm -hmm. I take this out and I'll say to them, the guys on this side of the room like this, and they'll go, you know, I do like toe to shell. My glasses are toe to shell. I, I wear a toe to shell headband. So that's the little, little tricks I do mentally to try mm -hmm. to figure out who's cool and who's warm. And, and then I will get business from there. I now have business, well, not this year, but they come to my house and I color analyze them. And I put them into one of the first seasons and I put on all the makeup. And um, my business is a lot of weirdos because what people, I believe, a lot of people, when they get something they like, they'll mm -hmm. stay with it. Yeah. And I was telling Shale, and especially down in Florida, because it's an older age group and they can't be bothered. They find something they like. They just want another one. Give me two of them. So mm -hmm. I've had had a tremendous um, reorder business as well as a first business. I have been very fortunate. But what it is, is I make everybody feel better afterwards. Nobody mm -hmm. leaves my house and doesn't feel good about themselves. So mm -hmm. if their hair color is wrong, I'll only tell them it's wrong if they ask me. If they say, mm -hmm. help me, I hate my hair, what color should I do? I have wigs now and I put wigs on people and say, how about this, how about that? And it's just, um, it's just a matter of showing them mm -hmm. what they can do with what they have. Mm -hmm. And as far as color, I use myself as an example a lot because I am so definitely a cool Ooh, yeah. person. And I'm mm -hmm. that brings me down to a window because my mm -hmm. eyes are brown. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that really helps people. Like yeah. uh, Julie is letting her hair because of COVID. She, <laughs> she's letting her grace come in. Is she? And okay. I've met you can't really see it that much. Julie okay, thinks you can look okay. like see. Okay, now I see. Okay, okay. Okay, now that's been since what, March? Yeah, so it's been since March. And okay. she did it because I've encouraged her to do it. And okay. I encourage her about every month and she'll take another picture and I'll say, come on, you can do this. You can. But, but I have seen, since I've been back here in Florida now, I have seen about five or six of my clients that have let themselves go silver because I, they just need somebody to tell them it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. 
It's not okay for me. I'm not going, Silva. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> but, you know, some people, certain seasons can go Silvo and certain yeah, seasons yeah. cannot go Silvo. And that's yeah. the sad part. You have to tell some people that they're going to be fixing their hair and coloring their hair for the rest yeah. of their life. Yeah. And, and um, yeah. Yeah. And that's just fun. But anyway, I'm open for questions because I went off track. So what else would you like to know? No, so I'm I'm curious about, and then we'll we'll allow the the um, consultants that are on to ask questions. So the the little head, like the the zebra and the um, leopard. Oh, I have them all. They're all fine. Yeah, do, you, do, do you give? Do you have your the? Let's I mean let's think not COVID right now. So let's just say when we get back. So yeah. would each one of the attendees coming in for the presentation? Would they each have one based on this, whether they're on the warm or the cool side, or you just use that as an example? Yeah, that's my example. Once everybody's seated, okay. I tell them, you know, my 10 second story about how I did it. And I want them yeah. to know I'm not, that I'm experiencing this. And I also prep it with, this is one of the, this is the only thing I'm good at, <laughs> okay. but I am really good at this, but it's, yeah. you know, it's not like I have like 20 other talents. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, I tell people this and I make them feel comfortable. And then I I just, I'm very honest with people when they ask yeah. me questions, okay. but I find that there's a thin line. You don't okay. want to go up to somebody and say like, what are you doing now? You know, gotcha. unless, unless a lot of times two people come to my house and I love that because number one, I get paid twice, okay. but the girlfriend does all the work for me because the girlfriend would say, I told you when okay. you wore that dress, you look like crap. You know, okay. and it's like, okay, I don't have to say anything. You don't have that. to say it. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So, okay. uh, yeah, when I was with the ambassador, I'm up, yeah. I mean, I'm just a regular person who yeah. you know, happened to be overseas because of my husband. It's nothing mm -hmm. like I did. And mm -hmm. I get to meet this ambassador and she says, come on up in my bedroom. And I'm sitting on a bed thinking, this is like an out of body experience. <laughs> and she pulls out this blue and white friggin' polka dot dress. Wow. And she's like, this is my favorite dress. Now she is an ambassador. You don't okay. wear polka dots to the office, okay? <laughs> so I said to her, Madame, when you have that pool party, your next pool party, wear that dress around the pool. You do, nobody takes a polka dot dress seriously. And she was like, it like clicked. I mean, she just went, oh my gosh, oh, you're right. And wow. so this is just the little things that you can help somebody with and they're mm -hmm. going to remember. Yes. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Okay. So uh, does anybody, so I, I muted everyone, but you are able to, cause it's about 826. And um, so we want to make sure that everyone that is on has a chance to ask um Joanne, any questions that you may have? Um, and then I also want Joanne to just share a little bit about how COVID has changed how she will do is doing business in the future. Okay. Uh, and even now, you know, what, what, what is she doing uh, differently? Uh, because I think that's important for us to see that the business doesn't have to stop, but you just have to alter how you're doing it, whether you're forced to do it or whether you do it voluntarily. So um, if, if, does anybody have any questions before we move to that? Because that is going to help everyone that is currently doing color, just give you, you know, some confirmation that you can still do it, but you make have, you're going to have to make some changes. Any well, let questions? Me add one more thing before we start mm -hmm. asking questions. So um, you can't see it over there, but I do glasses also, a pair of uh, sunglasses. So I'll do tortoise shell sunglasses versus a black frame, big okay. difference on your face. Okay. It takes the shadows. I have a uh, Jewelry, like just inexpensive jewelry, you put on a big pearl necklace. I have um, bracelets so that okay. people can put it on and go, oh, I would never wear that. That's the ugliest thing. And that, yeah. you know, so, so it's it's about color. Oh, I have visors because we're in Florida. So I'm okay. like, if you're going golfing, which color visor would you take? And I, I, I mean, if I could show you all this, maybe the next one, I can yeah. show you all the way I, I have people thinking. I just, gotcha. I want them to see it. 
I, I can speak it, but I want them to want see them to it. See it. Gotcha. Yes. And then and I what, want them to walk out of my dough it. and know that they're going to follow this color yeah. for life. So when you do the visors, um, what do you have different colors or do you yeah. just have, yeah. okay, just something that represents a warm and a cold? Do you want me to? I could get them. They're right six feet away. Except yeah, I, I'd love to be able to, to see because I mean. Do you want to see them? Yeah. Okay, guys. Hold on. I got to move the chair. Oh. So if anyone has any questions, um, you know, go ahead and unmute yourself and we'll we'll take your questions as you, I see you unmute it. So the interesting thing is, I don't know about your, where you live or, or what you do, but down here, everybody plays golf or tennis. That's why mm. we're all here. And so I'll say to them, can you see, mm. which yeah. visors would you take? Would you take the lime green and put it on your head and feel comfortable? Would you take the bright orange and feel comfortable? Would you take the gold? And wow. some of people will say, Oh my God, I would never, ever be able to do that. So I'm like, okay. So then would you take the hot pink? Well, would you take the lilac? Or hmm. would you like the silver? And wow. that really, really makes them think. So see, what you're doing is you're, you're doing your job by trying to analyze them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I am, you know, I dropped it. But I am letting them see for themselves what they like. And like, okay, so I have on silver, right? Mm -hmm. But if I do this and put this leopard on, I don't know if you can see it on this, but this mm -hmm. is not me. Mm -hmm. So warm people like leopards. Mm -hmm. A cool person, black and white, would like a zebra. Mm -hmm. So it can be as simple as that. And somebody would say, oh, I've always love leopard and that's it's done that's it's a, in the brain yeah. they'll never wear leopard they'll never wear zebra again you so you and then from there you can play with out of the first seasons if you get them into warm and cool you're down to two yeah i mean how much of a mistake can you make you're down to yeah. two sure. so yeah. it it's it, it makes it really easy to think of other things and and just have i think just having them talk about it and put it on like, okay, so I would wear this pink scarf, mm -hmm. okay? And then people would say, oh my God, I love that color. And then that brings me to the conclusion that, you know, I think they think that they're cool. Cool, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it, I love it. Okay, so, all right. So if you have any questions. Let me get something. Go just ahead. unmute yourself. And this is the, the book that Joanne authored. And it is packed, just like you heard um, Joanne talking about uh, accessories and you know whether it's scarves or, or, or glasses, prints, jewelry. Necklaces, necklaces. bracelets. Yeah. Uh, little so, clips. Um, and this this is the the most the, the most current and the, the last book that actually uh, we did. So um, Joanne was certainly the perfect author, author to um, kind of bring us to this time and, and, and place. Um, any questions? Okay, let's see. Somebody's in yeah, the chat. Julie has a question, but she said she can't get she can't unmute herself. Could you unmute? So Linda Webster. Okay, Linda, you have a, a question, uh, and let me just. Um, Julie Cress has one. Okay, so I don't see Julie's question in the chat. Oh, I don't think she knows she has to chat. She just wrote me a note. <laughs> yeah, she so, doesn't know that she has to do that. Can you just unmute her or you have to mute, unmute everybody? Let me, let me, I'll, I think I have to mute, unmute. Okay, while everybody. you're doing that, Sharon, to keep them occupied, look what I just decided. My husband came up with this because I was banging my head against a wall thinking, how am I going to get close to people if we're both wearing masks? I, I can't do it. Uh oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I muted you. Hold on. Okay, got it. I'm okay. 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 
Did I do it? Did I do it again? Jesus. Wait a minute. Ask to unmute. Are you, can you hear me? Yeah. So okay. Joanne, hold on one she, second. She Lord. might have to unmute herself because I unmuted myself. Yeah, so un unmute yourself, Joanne. Got it. Okay, good. Okay, let Thank me just you, finish this and then I'll take the question. So um, wh where I live right now has a, you know, a clubhouse. And I always do a presentation there. And actually, usually in this in season, I do one almost every week for like three months. So it's really my busy time. But mm -hmm. nobody is inviting anybody into their clubhouses. But I am allowed to go into my own clubhouse with a mask. So I was talking to the man in charge. And he said, well, how are we going to do it this year? So we decided to use six foot tables and everybody individually going to have one table okay. so we can't show makeup I can't put makeup on people and I'm like well how am I going to pull this one off right so my husband said get a mannequin get a face mannequin I don't know I never thought about it so I went on Amazon well they're all like pages and pages these were like seven dollars and what I'm going to do and what happens is I am going to explain to them how to put the makeup on what color I'm going to do a womb I got two I'm going to do a wow. womb I'm going to do a cool and I'm going to put it on them and I'm going to show them. I'm going to pass it around and hopefully I'm going to get business off this. And then they say you take it home and you just put oil on it and you just washes right off. So because of the mask, because where we live right now, I'm, I, I can't speak for the nation, but where we live, it is very, very strict. And there mm -hmm. is no way I can be in that clubhouse and let anybody put their mask down. I can't get close enough to put lipstick on. So I'm going to use my little guy. I have to give these guys a name. This is going to be so fun. And I'm going to, this is what I'm going to use. Julie, you didn't you know that. Put, I just, just thought, wig, Wayne thought of it and I bought it. Are you going to put a wig on them? Well, you... I have all the wigs. So I would, I will. Good idea. I'm going to put, I have two worms and two cool. So I'm going to put a cool wig on or a worm wig on them yeah. and have and them the see it. The match. Yeah. Normally I what I do is a raffle and everybody tweet, 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 tweet. They get so excited about raffles. But what <laughs> I do is I give away two things. I give away one free consultation. They usually bring a friend. So I end up getting two. Just and I, I usually give away a gift. So it's mm. um, one of our brushes. It's one of mm -hmm. the something that we have mm -hmm. that's yeah. easily available. And uh, they love thinking they're getting a gift. Mm. So that's, that's my key at the very end. That's my close. I love it. I love yeah. it. Linda Webster, I I'm see sorry. that you have a question. Unmute yourself and you can ask it. Hi, Linda. Okay. It, hi. Something's burning in my kitchen. I forgot I had something on the fire. <laughs> I we will not take responsibility Sheesh. for that. We'll just yeah, dial 911, no fire. problem. <laughs> I burnt my lemon tea. But um, I, I have kind of several, I'll just ask them all together, Joanne, about when you do these meetings, um, do people, t people tend to gravitate mostly towards what season they are but then some don't some just oh absolutely forward. there's some who cannot figure it out at all and, okay so after you when you do the large meeting like that split the room in two you got one side hat cool and one warm so is that just sort of to initiate it to introduce people to the concept yes. and then from there you do the individual bookings from that yes Okay. It's to get the interest and the curiosity. And then they'll sit with a friend and they'll turn around to their friend and they'll say, why don't we book something? Let's go together. You know, because okay. everybody likes to go together. And uh, yeah, that's how it happens. Okay. I, I, but I do put, I do pick a raffle of those, I guess, three then. I, I, I pick three times. One, one person, and this is where it could get a little tricky, but I take one person and I'll say the raffle number and then they get to sit in what I call my magic chair. So then there's a magic chair and instead of using this, I'll put it on a person. And okay. so you do nine and a half times out of 10, it's a, it's a good, like I know what they are right away and they know what they are so that it's not like a sweat. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'll get somebody and I'll put something on, she'll say, I hate that color, I hate that color, I hate that color. <laughs> But you know, 
the but crowd you laughs it. with you. So you do yeah. one draping for the big group meeting. I do. Well, I used to. They would be on a high stool, like everybody else is on a chair. I put them on like a, a high top table chair. Mm-hmm. And then also, I didn't get to tell you this. I have a, like, I always ask for at least one six foot table. And on three, half that table, I'll put all my products on one side. And then I put cool on the other side. So that if it, if she happens to be cool, I don't spend much time searching for stuff. It's like okay. this, this, That's this. A good, because a good tip. I'll tell you, honestly, you start losing the crowd. It's the end of the meeting. They're thinking yeah. about lunch or they're mm-hmm. thinking about tomorrow. And what happens is it's tough around the eyes. People can't see in the back. So mm-hmm. yeah, I kind of just, yeah, I kind of do it fast. But once you put blush and lipstick on somebody that doesn't have it on and they look 10 years younger and they look like yeah. they took a nap, they all mm-hmm. go like this. Oh, <gasps> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a real uh-uh moment. Yeah. Right. Good, good stuff. I took notes. Can we share, can we use your concepts or you have it copyrighted? Oh, please. No, I'm anything serious. you want. I would take and copy and duplicate exactly what you did. Anything you want. It's all okay. yours. Thank I you. wish you good luck with it. Thank you. It's fun. Yeah. I love it. That's it. And and if you are having fun, they feel it. If, it they, yeah. if you're if you're not enjoying this and you don't get it, then you know, maybe they feel it. Yeah. So, True. Thank I you so it. much. Yeah. I love it. What's I up? Thank you for asking your question. So, I so it's just such a treat to have you meet you, even through the Zoom. Uh, but I was wondering, maybe like if we sit somebody on a, the magic chair, maybe use a, a gold and a silver uh, custom, and I maybe could use that. I'm going to have a presentation on my workplace, which I'm very excited about because <gasps> I, I work for the courts and, and we're in dire need of, of some. Uh, business appropriate guidance and, mm-hmm. and, and courts appropriate. So I asked my boss and he asked the clerk of the court and she said, yes, so I'm really excited. I'm, I'm trying to that's put together. Congratulations. And yeah, that's a good one. Too, there's going to be men. So hopefully I can do something fun. Oh, for the men, men, hair, they still have hair. They still have eyes. They still have skin. Mm-hmm. You can mm-hmm. figure it out. What I... I, when I do private consultations with men, I bring tie. I have them bring their favorite 10 ties and I have them bring their favorite shirts. It's a private consultation. But, but again, the guys actually, I did this big one at this accounting office and they did the men and then they did the women and I got more attention from the men. They really mm. liked it. I think a lot of times I brought up... Um, people they knew they like famous people like Pierce Bronson he's a mm. winter you know mm-hmm. he's dark hair but he has blue eyes oh, but he's yeah. that look and then and then you tell them like big names like somebody who would like Joe Biden's a summer yeah. you know what I mean mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. Um, a president-elect Biden summer mm-hmm. so if you, if you bring that up these guys were sitting back on oh okay you know what I mean yeah. mm-hmm. it, you got to be careful I think you, you don't want to get into like movie stars a lot of times because they change their hair 19 times a day. But, you know, people mm-hmm. that are re- highly regarded, I think that way, especially in the codes, that would be great. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but start, start with gold and silver and take it from there. Okay. But when you look at the people, say, do I like orange lipstick on them? Like that's how my brain works or do I like pink? Now, mm-hmm. some people say they can't do it that way. Oh, mm. look at their hair and say, do I like, does she blonde or does she look better ash? You yeah. know, that's mm. the whole key. You have to yeah. find it. I have the blonde hairs too. And I, I can tell if it's warm or if it's ashy and, I, and that helps, right? That's the biggest. That's the whole key. Mm. Because the hardest thing for me to train people is ash brown. They don't get the color of ash. Yeah. Ash mm. means there's no gold. Yes, mm. exactly. Yeah. Okay. And you know, every hairdresser in this country wants to put gold in your hair. Yeah. They want to lighten you up. Julie shaking her head. We all did it. One time I went to the hairdresser and I said to him, she's known me for years. I wasn't quite this silver, as I call it. I said, um, if I get, if I said to you, give me one, one piece of advice, if I was coming in here for a bad day, what would you do? And this man who was a great cutter at the time said to me, 
I would poke you up with a little bit of go, just a little bit, Joanne. And I'm like, oh my God, the guy doesn't get me at all. I mean, this would not look good with gold highlights. Right, right. no, so, not at all. Yeah, so you can look at them and you could think, would they look good with gold highlights or red highlights? Freckles are a big one too. Most freckle people are womb. That's like a, almost yeah. a 99%. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you get a charcoal freckle, which you never, I found two in 26 years. So, wow. yeah. Okay. Well, Thank good. you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, but let them touch and feel too, you know, like put this stuff out there. If you bring in a scarf, if you bring in toys, sunglasses, glasses, and then afterwards they might come and put them on and say to their friend, do you like me in these? Or do you like me in these? Like that's what mm -hmm. always happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah, but ties are great ideas for, for guys. Well, mm -hmm. they're up until they're about five years ago, not... now nobody's wearing ties, yeah. but yeah. Um, it's something that reflects up onto their face. Yes. So yeah. I don't know what else for men, I don't know, hats. I mean, what, a little chap. I... Yeah, well, they wear ties where I work always. Oh, of course they do. Of course. Yes. Yeah. So they, yeah. they will relate to that. They will. Yeah. And do you know what? Do you know who they relate to? The newscasters. Because I, I always use that. Brian News, Williams as my, person. he he must have had an uh, a stylist who had a colors who was trained. Because Brian Williams in the decades that I used to watch that man never wore the wrong color. If you look at Brian Williams, he's a summer. He never once wore a brown spur coat. He never wore a camel hair spur coat. You know, it's just that kind of stuff. The guy always had on a navy blue blazer. Mm -hmm. I mean, he knew his colors, his tie, if it's striped, yeah. he never had one tie with a gold stripe. I mean, we mm -hmm. watch him every night. We used to watch him every night. Um, yeah. And he, he never, I had never once seen him with the wrong color. Now, David Muir has taken over. Does anybody watch the news or is it just me? No, okay, I watch so David, David Muir. <laughs> David Muir when he was just a fill-in, would always wear brown. He's an auto. And he always wore a nice camel hair. He always wore brown. And then he got the main seat. And now if you watch him at night, they put him in gray, they put him in black, and he looks underneath his eyes, look all puffy and, and discolored. And that's because he's wearing the wrong color. He, he's trying to wear what the businessman says, what you need that mm -hmm. black suit, mm -hmm. you need that gray mm -hmm. suit. And he's mm -hmm. trying to do that. And they took away his browns and they took away his camel hills. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So somebody like that would understand a yeah. man. They would relate. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Okay. Awesome. So what yeah. you tell the men is it makes their teeth look brighter. Yeah. Because men yeah. like to think that their teeth yeah. are bright. Right. <laughs> bright and yeah. white. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Okay. All right. Any other? So those were great questions, uh, Beatrice. Thank you for asking them. Um, who else is on that has a question before we wrap it up for the evening? Anyone? Okay. Well, I couldn't be that good that nobody has questions. I, I know. I know. Because somebody will say I, I, I couldn't did. mute myself. Hey, yeah. I have to say one more thing. Let me wait, wait. Uh -huh. I just thought of something. So these are my most favorite earrings. Julie has heard this already, but these are my most favorite earrings. Okay, see them, they're a, they're a pearl. But the problem mm -hmm. was I got them when we lived in Japan and they're 18 karat gold. Mm -hmm. These were gold. Oh, and perfect. I said, yeah, this isn't gonna work because every time I put them on, all you could see were these faux prongs. Mm -hmm. They were like mm -hmm. screaming at me. Mm -hmm. So when people say, my husband gave me this and I can't get rid of it, you can get these rhodium plated. You just walk into the jewelry store, you hand it to them. Yeah, Julie's shaking her head. She did it too. I did it to many pieces of my jewelry. They put it in a machine. It comes out. It's, I did my rings. I did everything. Uh, so then now I have white gold instead of... Instead of the yellow gold. Yellow gold, yeah. yeah. That's See? powerful. Yeah. I think I heard someone wanting to ask a question. Please. It was me. I'm not sure if I asked. Did I ask you if you do a draping at that um, general big session with in the magic chair? Or do you just do yeah, makeup? No, no, no. I do draping. Yeah. I okay. want, and then the people in the audience will go like this. Oh, 
you look terrible. Well, take it off. Oh, and then I'll put mm -hmm. on another one. So it's really mm -hmm. interesting because then they want to get draped because it's mm -hmm. human nature. Yeah. Well, I want to do it if she did it. So then mm -hmm. they end up making appointments and coming to the house. Yeah. Okay. I just want to show you real quick. I bought this mask. I have appointments. It's plastic shield on yeah. Amazon. And I used it for a, a couple of appointments. I, I, you know, I don't care. Like, I'll do my appointment. And they're, they're more at ease when they they take when off they the mask so they can do makeup yeah. or I can see their, their skin color so I can do the analysis. Yeah. And they feel more comfortable, and I can smile at them, and I love it because. So I, I have. So, that, one so you just. So you just you don't put the mask on under that. That no, ends up being the but mask. you know what? That I think it could work for them too. Yeah. I bought the problem is that I bought it on Amazon, and it's a, a set of two, but I only one only one set of of, of uh, you know the the ear Stem. Stem. So I will have to order another set. Because there's only one set, but I think this could be a solution because you can yeah. see through their face. Face, and, yes. And kind of, kind of close, not too close, but at least be able to do the analysis. So, and when when you put that on them, you could actually shape match them just on their forehead, too, yeah. and right in here, right? Exactly. So I like that. I, I thought this was a solution. I did it. I I did several in one day because I went to Tucson and. And they felt comfortable to me, at least me wearing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, but what did you do with them, Beatrice? Did they didn't I, have it? I, they didn't have it. They took it off just for a minute so they could real quick look at the skin. Okay. Okay. And then you can put it on while I do the hair. I can do the eyes without it. So it was just for, for a couple of minutes while okay. I was just looking through the swatches for to match the skin. Okay, okay. So, Good. It's a solution, I think. And yeah, yeah. So I think you know we we all have to be mindful of the the, the times that we're dealing with, and uh, the most important thing is that you protect yourself and you protect your clients. So, yeah. however, you know you can do yeah. that. Um, you don't it, want to important. get them sick. And right, this absolutely. is a good time to look up those people who you've talked to in the last six months, eight months, ten months if you have or past that even later and just mm -hmm. ask how they're healthy, how they're feeling and yeah. then say, hey, you know, do you need any more of blah, blah? Because right. I always keep a record of what uh, everybody buys. So yes. I try to like ask them how they are and also ask if they need any replacements. But you most know, of the I time, I have to be honest with you, my answer is I haven't been out. I brought right. a mask. I don't need a new mm -hmm. foundation. So I yeah. haven't been very successful, but I have touched a lot more people that will remember me when things get good. Yeah. 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 So um, have you done any, any um, appointments virtually like on zoom or video chat right. or anything? Okay. What's I your feeling? If, I don't know you if don't it's a possibility. Okay. okay. I have done individuals that didn't live in the area that sent me pictures like okay. without makeup on outside in yeah. the sun. I have done that. And we talk yeah. on the phone and then I'll tell them, Julie, what Julie you, and I have discussed that with a few of her clients. She'll send them to me, her and I discuss them and we'll play with it. And then we decide what season they are. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Any other questions? It's 8.51. We've taken up the, the, the entire hour, <laughs> which is great. I'm, I didn't I'm, mean I'm, to I'm, guys. No, no, no. This it's is awesome. no. I'm, I'm, yeah. Any other questions? Last call for questions. Am I and, unmuted? Yes, you're unmuted. I have tons of questions because I love this. Um, I got an email from somebody saw me on the locator and wanted to know about color analysis. They went online and took the quiz and they said they had an idea what they were, but they were looking for something more extensive. So in, in this instance, what what are we okay I, my problem is i would advise somebody but i don't know how to charge for that virtually other than to have them purchase their swatch fan or their deluxe kit or and like and like joanne was saying i've done it before where people just sent pictures and i advised them on what their season was told them to take the quiz and then i either confirmed that or you know explained further and they went and bought 
product at my recommendation, you know, which I got credit for the sale, but I don't know how, how do you charge for the service or don't you? Since we can't be, if we're doing it virtually, you can't actually do the draping on them. That's a trick question. Yeah. Uh, I find sometimes it's better to have a client, client and keep a client and they're going to remember you and I will not charge them. Okay. And it, it's, it's hard because you, it's not, it's how much is it worth to you? How much time did it take? But how yeah. much are you going to get in return? And yeah. how, is she going to be a, a loyal client because you have gone out of your way and because you have not charged her for this? She feels yeah. like she got something, she got a deal. So right. she's going to stick with you. Yeah. Okay. So there's two ways you can, you can make your money first and maybe never get it again. Get it again. You can try okay. to build a, a loyalty type of thing. I mm -hmm. like that. Thank you. Just my thinking. It, it's yeah. not I agree. right along. It's I just agree. the way I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's good. Tahira, did you have any questions? Tahira is um, a color analyst. Yeah, she, she, answered, she answered it, but I kind of do like the same thing that you do, Joanne. I take, um, I send me the pictures. And what I do is I do the um, um, the color analysis presentation virtually. So once I do the analysis, I break down the whole actual um, swatches that I've used and try my best to match them up. And I go through the whole presentation that we would do in person online. And then what I also do is do the um, makeup. We do it, we FaceTime. So I am um, either some of them that are in state, I'll mail the um, samples to them. Those who are on my um, state, I'll, I'll give them the samples and we are actually FaceTiming each other with the color guide where it tells them where it matches where your foundation is, where it has the eye color, the lipstick, and we do it FaceTime. And I tell them to do it before and after picture. And also because like styling, like it too. So based on some colors, of course I asked Jill you know, for reference behind me, I look through their closet. So some of them been pretty nice. We'll start off, they'll send pictures and actually I'm actually basically FaceTiming them in their closet. I'm like, do you have like said gold? Do you wow. have <laughs> it's pretty good. They put it together. Wow. And we take, and I say, if you're willing to be on my website, because I just started out, I was like, you're willing to be on my website, let me know. We do the before and after picture. They take the pictures and we go from there. And that's been successful so far. I haven't had a lot, but I've gotten practice with a lot of my friends and family. They've been practicing with me. So I've gotten okay. those, but I did get one of my um, coworkers. I'm a teacher. She actually wanted to do the analysis before COVID already started. Yeah. And then she actually got it. So, so far they're pleased. Like you said, when they put the makeup on, they're like, Oh, I never thought I would wear this or mm -hmm. I'm not interested. So it's been fun just going through their closet and pairing back to with the jewelry too. They pull up the jewelry. I'm like, what do you have in that closet? Put this up, match with that. What about those shoes? So putting the whole outfit together Woo! and putting mm -hmm. the pictures. That's <laughs> impressive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, um, thank you, Joanne. You have no idea yeah, how you have uh, <laughs> touched everybody's um, life tonight. I mean, I, I think that they, they're glad to see you. They're glad to hear from you. Glad to be and, here. Um, you know, it's just good to, to see you on the screen and just uh, have you share your expertise. So um, thank you for representing the craft so well. Um, and you have certainly laid a groundwork for us. We have an example to follow. And uh, so thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, what I'm going to do is, let's see, I'm trying to think if I can get everybody's name and do a drawing to give somebody one of your books. Oh, oh what a great idea. <laughs> so let me just... See, people oh, love right winning right something. Right hey, <laughs> we all need to buy a lottery ticket, ladies. It's $850 million. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, but we're winning it. But we might win a million. All I want is a million. I don't even want the 850. I told my husband, just give me just one million. I'll be happy. Okay, so Alice McGrath. Okay, so just I, I just need to Susan. What's your last name? Oh, 
I just unmuted Collins, but I already have that book. Oh, you do? Okay. I do. All right, so maybe you'll too. get another gift. So, thank you, Joanne. And thank you, Sharon. You're welcome, Linda Webster. Okay, so maybe the gift is something. Uh, who who all has the book? Don't embarrass me. Nobody. <laughs> no. Who are I do? Yes. No, I think you, you're going to find a them. lot of people do have the book. Yes. Okay, Lovely. let's see. Yay, Julie. Um, well. Hey, Sandy, it's nice to see you. I always see your picture on the video, on the email every month. The emails, yeah. Can she hear me? Um, yes, I she can. can. There she is. Look at Sandy. Hey, cutie. Yeah, she's always on. She's always on that, you know. Nine thousand and above kind of list. No. <laughs> Nine thousand and above. I love it. Okay. All right. So I'm. I'm all. Karen, that's to... me. Dot Reinhardt. I knew that was you, Dot. When I saw Dot and Tom. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to let me see. Who is uh, Al Fish? A L F. Um, a Fish. Is that a net Fisher? Let me know. I need to know what your name is so that we can put your name in for a drawing. And what I'll do is we'll have, if you have the book, then we'll yes, give you Yes, that's me. Okay, Annette Fisher, okay. Are you in your pajamas, Annette? You just don't want us to see you. Is that the deal? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a little early for pajamas, but I, I might be behind you, Hill. Pajamas all it. day. <laughs> Okay, so let me make sure that I'm going to call out everybody's name, make sure I haven't missed anybody. So I've got Annette Fisher, Beatrice Bogard, Charlene Rucker, Jock Reinhardt, Julie Kress, Carla Perez, Jaquel, uh, Sandy Baum, Robin Bennett, Linda Webster, Tahira Scheider, Su Susan Collins, Alice McGrath, and Shermel Birch. Did I miss anybody? Okay, last call. All right, so if I've got everybody, hold tight and we'll see who's gonna be the lucky winner. And it's nine o'clock on the dot, so just y'all making Are me we work. Perfect and, what? Are we good? <laughs> always ready to learn. Always ready to learn. Okay, you guys, uh, you know, feel girl. free to, to shoot me an email if um, you have any particular requests for any of our trainings. And we'll make sure that we capture all that. Again, our goal every Tuesday night is to provide um, education for your beauty business to be able to expand it and to help you grow it. And um, so as long as we're doing that, we are doing our job. And Alice, I you, we'll be Alice McGrath, I see your name yeah. up there all the time, too. The nine thousand. Yeah, I've got Alan's name on here. I thought maybe I had. Don't think it. I don't remember that. <laughs> so we are going. I'm almost finished. Hold tight. Sharon, can then, you tell us what lipstick color you have on tonight? Who me? me? I'm a oh, red yeah. carpet. Who Julie is oh, that? Julian. Yes. Red carpet, my favorite. Mwah. That's red. Oh wow. Okay. Which one? Yeah, can you see? I'm trying. I'm trying. I wanted to show you guys how cool it is. See, I have all these up here, framed. Yeah, all my. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wanted to show you that. Actually, I could show you the whole room. It's kind of cool. Well, I'm sorry. What was the name of the the lipstick? It's all my sand. It's the sample. Red carpet. Is what she has on. Red oh. perfect. Yeah. Red carpet. That's okay. in color be beautiful. Okay. It's, it's the okay. only true red that's out there for a cool person. It looks fabulous. Julie has glam on, I think. What is Julie wearing? I think I have on soft plum. Soft really? Plum. That think... doesn't look soft to me, baby. That's glam, <laughs> I think. Doesn't look soft to you. Okay. All right. So we get ready to do the draw. So we got a... We got a... I can't get Julie into red lipstick. She won't do it. She won't do it. No. Occasionally, okay. occasionally I do it. But she is doing her hell. So, you know, baby steps, one thing at a time, you got to do it. Okay. 
So the first name coming out, well, they're all attached together. Let's see. Oh, you are bad at this, Sharon. You're good at a lot of things, but. Charlene Rucker. <laughs> okay, so Charlene, we'll do one more drawing. Thank you. Charlene, do you have the book? You know what, what edition is that? Because I do have one, I don't, but I just. The newest one. The this newest, is the newest one. one. Okay, then I don't have that one then. Okay. okay. <sighs> it's yours now. I know. And I'm not a cutter out analyst, analyst yet, but um, there were still good ideas. Not, I, I didn't even really know off the train. I was trying to pay a bill and then saw the email and I thought, okay, <laughs> let me hop on. So I was. Well, we're glad you got on. I think the book, the book is very simplified. It's okay. like it's like color me for dummies kind of thing. You know? Okay, okay, that'll be good for me. Give me that. <laughs> okay, so this one is for a lipstick in your season, and this goes to Carla Perez. All right. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Wait. Okay. Wait, who's Carla Perez. Carla is from oh, I Puerto can't Rico. See Carla, are you still on? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Carla, um, how do we know what season you are? So we can see yes. you. Show oh. your face. <laughs> oh, no. in Puerto Rico, it's about 10 o'clock in the night. I'm out, my skin is so washed, no lifting, nothing, and I was enjoying the work. So <laughs> well, that's all right, Carla. We'll, we'll, we'll forgive you. If it's, a, if it's 10 o'clock at night, I understand, because yes. I'm giving a little bit to you. Okay. So, Charlene Rucker, congratulations for winning the um, Reinvent Yourself book, Thank and Carla Perez for the, uh, the lipstick color in her season. So congratulations, ladies. Thank you for joining us tonight. And we will see you again next Tuesday. Thank you, Joanne Richmond. Love you. you. Stay healthy, you, everybody. Stay healthy. Thank you so much, Joanne. Thank Bye. you, Joanne. Bye, Bye now. Now. Stay healthy, Stay healthy too. Welcome, Joanne. Our, our newest consultant. Bye. We're excited Yay. for her. OK. All right, uh, everybody, sleep well, stay safe, stay beautiful. All right, you too. All right, thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.